In this video, I'm going to show you how to use adverbs to uplevel your sentences. Now, adverbs are another year five grammar feature. And again, they are quite simple to add into your work as long as you know a few rules. So adverbs are a way of adding description to your writing. You can use them to say how something happened, when something happened, where it happened, or to what degree, or we say how much. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate to you exactly how we use those in just a moment, but there are a few golden rules that if you follow, or steps rather, you will know exactly where to put your adverbs and it will be a kind of a quick fix for your sentences. So adverbs occur, or sorry, you'll write them after a verb. So a verb is an action or a doing word. So we'll put after a verb and we'll identify that in just a moment in an example sentence. Sometimes they end in ly, as you can see here, so they are quite easy to identify, sorry, but not everywhere. So if you look at where, there is no ly, okay? You just know that obviously it's describing what has happened given the verb. So it's quite a good way of spotting it. So if we have an example sentence, so this will just be a basic sentence that we are going to up level using adverbs. So we'll use fern feb will with some milk. So capital letter for fern, because fern is a pronoun, and also it's the first word in our sentence. Fern fed. Wilbur, again, another pronoun, so capital letter. And Wilbur is a word that we quite often spell incorrectly, so just check that spelling. Some milk. And then don't forget the full stop at the end of your sentence. So what we need to do first is we need to identify our verb. So I'm going to identify a verb. We'll use the blue pen. And a verb is an action word. It's a doing word. So it's not fern. That's a person. Wilbur is the pig. So they're both pronouns. Some is just an amount, okay, so it's describing, and milk, again, is a noun, it's a thing, which means fed, you feed Wilbur, fed is our verb. So we now know that our adverb comes with our verb. Now, it can come before the verb, or it can come after the verb. I'm going to choose to describe the verb using the adverb afterwards. So I'm just going to add on to the end of my sentence. So if we now try... So we've got fern, fed, Wilbur, some milk. And this is where I use my adverb. And I'm going to use the adverb carefully to show exactly how she did it. Carefully. Check that spelling. There's double L there. And then don't forget your full stop at the end. So now we know how fern fed Wilbur the milk. You can add two adverbs into a sentence. So we'll go on and show you that. And that would be um, another level. And then at the end, I will show you how you can use an adverb before the verb as well. So we use the same words. We'll use the same sentence just so you can see the different ways of doing it. So this time we're going to use two adverbs. So we'll say fern fed Wilbur. Again, don't forget those capital letters and spellings. Some milk. And this time, I'm going to say how much or to what degree. And I'm going to choose this one. So I'm going to choose extremely. Okay, so change my colour so you can see the adverb. Extremely. And then carefully to describe how she did it. And then always don't forget your full stop at the end of your sentence. So now we've shown you how to use one adverb to show how something is done. And then we've used two adverbs to show how something is done and also to what degree it's done. OK, you could have said extremely slowly or extremely quickly, or you could have said moderately carefully. Um, so there are a big bank of words that you can choose and you will see those on the printout. Now, finally, I'm going to show you how to use an adverb before the verb. And it's just about changing that sentence order. So fern, and this is where I will add my verb, and I will say carefully, and then continue my sentence. And what we'll do is we'll just read it back through at the end to make sure it makes sense. So fern carefully, fed Wilbur, oh, make a spelling mistake, that's okay, because I spotted it and I'm just going to correct it, there we go some milk and then again full stop at the end 
Okay, so three options. So we started off with fern fed wool with some milk. It's a really, really basic sentence. It had pronouns, it had a verb, so it told us what was happening. And it had the noun milk as well. We up leveled that, so we have changed it, and we have three variations, so three different ways of presenting the sentence. So the first one, we have fern fed wool with some milk carefully. Carefully is our adverb. And that shows how she did it. We then have fern fed wheel with some milk extremely carefully. So two adverbs together. And that's shown as to what degree she did it. And again, how she did it. And finally, I've shown you how to use an adverb before your verb. Fern carefully fed wheel with some milk. So just to finish off, we're going to go back through. And I'm going to identify the verb in each of those sentences. So you can see the relationship between the verb fed and the adverb carefully or extremely carefully as we have used. So here, and fed there, and fed there. So have a go, look at the word bank, the adverb word bank, and see if you can up-level some sentences.